Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Well, the Arthur C. Clarke Center is the Arthur C. Clarke Center for Human Imagination, and it incorporates all those three different things. So it's inspired by Arthur C. Clarke, the famous icon of the 20th century, who was a scientist, a technologist, and a renowned science fiction writer. We're a center, which means that we bring people from all over the UCSD campus together for all kinds of different events and activities. We do research, we do podcasts, we do film events, we do projects, and we meet with our faculty members, our scientists, our students, and reach out from here all over the world. We're the Center for Human Imagination. So what's human imagination all about? Well, we're, we're literally interested in the faculty of human imagination, that emergent property of our mind that allows us to create new things. Is this, this internal activity that allows us to think things, see things, hear things, and create new ideas. Now, how do we study that? Well, here at the Clark Center, we have our laboratory on the neuroscience of imagination. Here in San Diego, we have one of the greatest collection of tools for studying the mind in action. We have tools like fMRI, MRI scans that study the brain as it, as it uses its fuel. We have EEG systems, brain electrical recordings. We have MEG systems, magnetic uh, recordings of the brain. We have all kinds of tools, also computer information. And our laboratory here at the Clark Center is going to use virtual reality for studying imagination. What we will be doing is creating a workstation where we help people imagine things that they see. We will then bring it into the virtual reality system and measure their brain as they see the things they have in their imagination, see what they see in the virtual world, and see objects in the real world. And what we'll be able to do is measure how the different processes as images go through the brain from what we see and from the centers of brain where we imagine, and that will tell us where visual imagination is coming. So one of our big themes out here at the Clark Center is inspired by Arthur C. Clarke, which is space and cosmology. Uh, we do all kinds of collaboration and I have a special relationship with my co-director, Dr. Brian Keating, who is the director of the Axe Center for Experimental Cosmology, who just happens to be building a telescope that's going to help us understand the Big Bang. So with Brian and other collaborators, we do all kinds of projects. We're looking at quantum mechanics across the universe. We're looking for alien intelligence out there. And we have colloquia and projects that are uh, really fun, uh, again, with uh, many local UCSD collaborators and people around the world. We've also had our first Arthur C. Clarke space mission, the BOARDS mission, which is the Brain Organized for Advanced Research and Development in Space. I got that right, with uh, so uh, brilliantly led by my colleague uh, Allison Watry over at the, the Stem Cell Institute, where we were able to take brain stem cells and take them to space. And we got to see our own rocket launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 where a special package was taken uh, up to space station, the International Space Station, and kept our uh, brain organoids, our stem cells, up there alive for a whole month. We'll be having future missions of probably six flights of stem cells taking laboratory uh, specimens to the space station where they'll be investigating the uh, influence of weightlessness on their growth and their uh, propagation, which is a huge, huge issue in stem cells. So another tribute to Sir Arthur C. Clarke is cultivation of science fiction. And we do that in a whole variety of ways. Our wonderful Clark Center administrator is teaching high school students on how to write science fiction stories. And that's our Patrick Coleman. A special shout out to Patrick for all the great work he does at the Clark Center. Importantly, Patrick is also the administrator of the preeminent science fiction writers workshop in the world called the Clarion Science Fiction Writers Workshop. Clarion has been around for over 40 years, 
And for the last 14 years, we've been privileged to host it here at UCSD. Uh, we had a special privilege uh, a couple of years ago where we had Ted Chiang, who wrote the uh, short story, um, The Story of Your Life, that ultimately became the movie Arrival. Ted had been a student uh, and then an instructor and now is a uh, senior mentor of the whole program and it was a real privilege to have him come here and he brought a copy of the movie that we got to see and that's another part of what we do here is our science fiction film series where we tend to uh, have a intensive discussion around a science fiction movie where we'll talk to the creators like the actors or directors and other people who produce the movie on the creative side, but also scientific commentators um, who can tell us about the topics like uh, DNA in the movie Gattaca or aliens in uh, E.T. And it's a really fun uh, activity. One of my favorite things at the Clark Center is our science fiction film series. Along with that is our privilege to have the Arthur C. Clarke uh, award for Speculative Design as part of the Raw Science Film Festival. And a shout out to my friend Kerry Kukrell, who does a fantastic job running the Science Fiction Festival. And it's about depiction of science in science fiction movies. And this is something we have to get right. We have to communicate better about how science uh, is conveyed in science fiction stories. So we can be fun and fantastical, but at the same time, we want to be human and real. And that's really what so many science fiction stories are about. Workshops on Imagination are the new development program that uh, we're initiating here at the Clark Center. We'll have public facing uh, workshops that will help you cultivate your own imagination. We'll have intensive programs that we'll be bringing to sponsors um, to help group, both individuals and groups work together. Um, one of our big themes is going to be the neurodiversity of imagination. It's kind of surprising that there are many different versions of people's imagination and we need to understand that and convey that so that we can work effectively in small working groups um, for all kinds of different uh, human projects and human initiatives. For more information about the Clark Center, come to our website, imagination.ucsd.edu, where you can find more podcasts, you can find out about our research projects and our previous events, and you can sign up for our mailing list and get notified about things coming up in the future.